what's cracking, y'all? It's Diesel right here. Big dreams of leap in this authority. Proud, strong design. Help people stay motivated, stay in shape. But really, most of us are movement. No whammies. Serious business up in there, man. No whammy material at all. No whammy material, man. Giving y'all that great, spectacular stuff that you need to succeed and achieve, boy. I talk about something, man. Something I came up with real quick, man. Ah. Uh, Sometimes I'll come at y'all, y'all know the fitness and reality also, man. I'm one of the type of guys, I'm not going to just sit up here and, and, and preach how to get a six-pack, how to get a thick, bulging chest, how to get nice, great buns and all that stuff like that, because that ain't everything we need. We also need a good this. Uh, and this is just real talk right here, man. Just, just keeping it real with y'all. Uh, it's by Facebook, pretty much. Addiction, I will say that much. I'm going to tell you what a Facebook addiction is first and foremost. If you don't get up in the morning and thank God that you're alive or kiss your wife, the first thing you do, your phone is on your side of your bed. And the first thing you do is, is pick it up, type in your four digit code, and click the Facebook icon. You are a Facebook addict. <laughs> I'm just sad, man. Keep it real. You a freaking addict, man! You addicted to Facebook! And I ain't trying to be funny, man. No whammies, man. Ain't no whammies. You are addict to Facebook. Uh, the guy that marked, I don't know what the hell his last name is, the, the cat that, that invented Facebook, man, his intentions, in my honest opinion, were good. He, he intended for people to keep in touch with the families, keep in touch with your friends, keep in touch with your haters, keep in touch with whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, actually, man, I think what's changed it for the worst part is Congress. A lot of these uh, these lies, that these promises that they can't keep, man. Not only that, but just Zimmerman, man, the Zimmerman case. The lady that uh, was pleading self-defense in, in Florida that shot an error and then got 20, 25 years in prison. Um, the crime that just took place here in D.C. with the guy shot the Navy Yard up, um, the CNO building, and some other things, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this eventually has caused just just straight problems. When I first got on, I've been Facebook member for since 2009, 10, I think it is. When I first got on there, man, I had a blast. I mean, I was hooked actually, but I was having fun. I was having a good time. Now it's like. When I get on there, somebody bitching and complaining about something. And it's almost like Facebook is a daggone soap opera, man. It's like a reality show, man. It's just, it's not anything to keep up with the, 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 the families. Keep up with your friends. Keep up with your haters. Facebook ain't that no more, man. It's, it's, it's drama book, man. Uh, is there a way to correct it? Yeah probably is but you got to be disciplined and I've been actually trying to discipline myself away from Facebook actually I've, I've been wanting to get rid of my account to tell the truth but a lot of people out there that believe in me and follow diesel man has asked me and begged me literally not, not to do it like don't do not get don't delete your account man I watch you I listen to you I check you out the stuff you be talking about please don't get rid of your account <clears throat> And I respect that, man. But, but, but you know, the thing is, I can tell you guys, this is what I'm getting at right here to make a long story short. A lot of Facebook feeds can piss you off and make you angry as hell, man. And can cause you to really to act bitterish toward another person that, would, that you liked in the first place. Let me say that one more time. Facebook feeds and statuses, man, can make you, cause you to hate people, dislike people cause jealousy amongst other people that you liked in the first place. Yeah, this happened to me. It still is right now. I mean, some of the people I've made friends with, they get on there <clears throat> talking positive, talking good stuff, and then they, they want to roll with the Joneses, and I'm just keeping it real, want to take their clothes half damn near naked, be bucking naked in the nude, and then come here talking about, well, this guy done, done private messaged me a, a, a picture of his penis. This girl didn't send me a picture of it. Dude, look, it's like this. You caused it. You cannot. It basically all you're doing, and this is just my honest freaking opinion. You can like it or love it. 
you posting your, your ass naked nude in a way that makes it look enticing and sexual, you better believe somebody gonna jump on board with somebody that ain't got no self-control. They gonna, they, gonna, they gonna text you a picture of their penis to see if you reciprocate, you know what I'm saying? You gotta control this stuff, man. You gotta control yourself. We have to have total control of our emotions, ourselves. Everything that we do in life. Life is about choices, man. Life's all about freaking choices. You gotta know how to control yourself with this stuff. Everything, anything, any good thing can become a bad thing. It's just like exercise. Exercising too much can be bad. It can hinder your progress and hinder your results and you can't grow. You can't get any, you want your body won't respond. Your immune system will shut down and you'll start getting colds, flus, and stuff like that. It's just like alcohol. Everybody likes alcohol. <laughs> I like alcohol. I mean, I, I like wine. But too much wine is bad for you. It's bad for the liver. It's not good for you. It can cause you to sick, you can get poisoned, and you can die. Simple as that. But my point, man, back back to this is this. Is if anybody, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna close up. Got a couple minutes. If anybody or anything on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram causes you to get pissed off, causes your day to just be just horrible and bitter and angry, you need to cut it off. Cut it off. Get rid of it. That's the only way. That's the best solution I can give you guys. The best solution is complete separation from social media. This is Diesel, man. All day, every day, giving y'all the real, not faking, and not sugarcoating it. Just keeping it real, man. See y'all next tutorial. Out.